Hey everyone, Dr. Bart here, and uh, today I want to show you some really simple, yet really, really effective stretches for your neck to help you out with some of the chronic uh, nagging neck injuries, or maybe even just na nagging neck, uh, you know, pain and discomfort that you might experience through the course of the day. Um, as a chiropractor, I see people with neck pain every day, and a lot of it can be very, very preventable if you do some basic stuff at home. So today I'm going to show you three basic stretches, real simple and easy. And if you notice, I'm just sitting here in my kitchen. Uh, it doesn't require you to go to a gym. It doesn't require you to do anything special, have any special equipment. Um, you can do it in your office. You can do it uh, probably not in your car. Um, do it in your office, do it at home. Really do it anywhere that you spend a lot of time. Um, so the first stretch, well before I even get into the stretches, I want to let you know that I see a lot of people out there stretching their neck in some pretty funky ways. And a lot of those ways are probably counterproductive to getting good, a good healthy neck. Um, sometimes I see people grabbing their head and kind of cranking it over to one side. And although in the moment that might feel as though it has some benefits, a lot of times it can actually irritate the neck because we're compressing and jamming up some joints. So today we're going to make it real simple and easy. And of course you think these should feel relatively good, like a good stretch versus being real painful. And of course, if they are painful, go ahead and make sure you find some time to go see your chiropractor or your medical doctor. All right, so here we go. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your, your hand and find your clavicle bones, with these, these collar bones that you got right here, and you're gonna place your hand right on those collar bones, in the middle of your sternum here, and you're gonna pull down on the skin. Once we pull down on the skin, all you're gonna do is we're gonna make this real simple, is we're gonna raise our chin up and back until we feel a nice big stretch here, but you're gonna close your mouth when you do it. So it looks just like this. And right away, if you do that, you'll feel a nice big stretch in the front part of the neck muscles here. The second one, real simple again, you're gonna put your left hand on your right clavicle, run over just a little bit and grab some of this neck, uh, the, the, the skin above the shoulder here and onto the clavicle. Put your hand right there, you're gonna Put your other hand right on top of it. We're gonna turn away 45 degrees over to the left side here, and I'm gonna pull down on this skin again, creating a little bit of a tightness right here, and it's just a skin pull. And then I'm gonna look up and over my left shoulder. And again, creating a nice, big, comfortable stretch on the left-hand side here, because I've got what's well, gonna stretch to me on the right, but I'm looking to the left. And then we're gonna switch that up. I'm gonna put my right hand on my left clavicle, and even some of the muscles right above that, I'm gonna pull down on that skin, I'm gonna support it with my other hand, turn my head about 45 degrees, I'm gonna relax my posture, and I'm gonna look up and over my shoulder. And again, creating a nice big stretch along the side of my neck here. And here's the thing, a lot of people will tell me, yeah, but my neck pain is back here. And the reason for a lot of the, probably the majority of the, the neck issues out there because of posture. And the posture is this, a lot of people sit in their desk for a long period of time, they drive their cars, they sit with pillows cranked up, and it's this forward head posture that makes these muscles in the back of your neck essentially overwork. And the more that they work, they get tighter and tighter, and the muscles on the front start to creep short, and they get tight as well. And when these muscles creep short, even when you want to go to have good posture, you can't sit up straight because they're so tight. So by stretching these muscles out, these what we call scalene muscles, or more importantly, really, the fascia on the front part of your neck, by releasing that, it's gonna relieve the tension in the back. All right, I'm gonna give you one more, it's a little bit of a bonus. It is actually gonna be stretching one of the muscles in the back. It's the most involved muscle with all kinds of neck pain called the levator scapula. Uh, it's a real simple stretch, and again, we're gonna take it nice and easy and really safe always, okay? So this one, we're gonna take our hand, and we're gonna put it behind our back, just like this. And I'm going to rotate around just so you can see what that looks like. And notice here that I have, I still have good posture with what I'm doing. If you go to put your hand behind your back and you've really got to crank your shoulder forward to do this, then this might be a little much for you. And we actually got to back up a little bit and find some shoulder stretches, which you look, you'll find in some of my other videos. If that's the case and your shoulders way forward, I want you to just put your hand on your head. So to do this properly, we're going to take a right hand. We're going to put it behind our back like such. Again, I've got good posture across the front part of my body. And this time, I'm gonna rotate away about 45 degrees. I'm gonna take my left hand, put it back up on the clavicle, pull down on the skin again. And this time, instead of looking back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down and forward. And I'm gonna feel a big opening, a big stretch going through this area here. So again, I pull down on the skin, I 
rotate 45 degrees away, and I look down toward the ground, putting a nice big stretch here. And again, I'll put the other arm behind the back, good posture across the front part of my body, hand over the clavicle, maybe even my fingers up on the trap here. I pull down on the skin, I rotate 45 degrees away, and I look down toward the floor, putting a nice big stretch here. All of these you'll hold about 15 seconds. You do several times a day. In fact, if you're at a computer most of the day, you're driving a car, I rep about every hour you do these stretches to keep your neck nice and healthy. I hope these will keep your, help, they help you out, make you nice and healthy through the course of the day. If you want any more information like this, just send me a request on what kind of stretches or information that you'd like to see. Have yourself a great day.